Tim, you obviously were very disappointed on Tuesday night post-match. Has there been some more sort of honest conversations and what has the reaction been like <coughs> in, the, in the training since? That's why I didn't put my interview up there. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, listen, I mean, I can only say as, you know, as it is, um, I was brutally frank with them, even at half-time, in fairness, because although we got ourselves back in the game, and to be fair, Mr a couple of decent chances to, to even equalise, we were still shipping far too many chances at the other end, far too many individual errors and mistakes, you know, it litters, litters the game. Um, and then second half, it was probably a, a similar thing, we had another couple of decent chances, in fairness, Mickey Patrasso had a couple of shots blocked, Harry Taylor had a, a good chance from the edge of the box, or certainly a chance to hit the target early from the kickoff. Um, but then, you know, we 2-1, uh, you're in the game, but we, I mean, the, the third goal, this is just one of a catalogue of ridiculous, you know, um, mistakes, if you want to call it that, you know, immature defending, really, to allow a throw in, in behind you like that, and, and for, a, you know, to come in unmolested along the, along the touchline to square back, and, you know, it's just so, so poor. Um, and then, of course, you know, the theme returns of capitulation, you know, in the final few minutes to, to you know, it turns a, you know, a 2-1 into a 5-1 and, and, you know, you've, got, you've had another hiding on your hand. So you've, you've gone from some positive performances and results, you know, in the scheme of things to, um, or some result against Halifax, to, 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 you know, three or four steps backwards. So, yeah, I mean, after the game, you know, it's, I, you rant and rave sometimes, and then you try a different tack or whatever. And I, you know, I calmly told them what was in my heart, you know, and, and you know, totally and utterly unacceptable, you know, childlike schoolboy defending really from front to back. Didn't work hard enough at top to stop at a source, uh, and certainly uh, made far too many unforced errors and poor decision making defensively. So, you know, we've worked yesterday, obviously. You, you, you know, you, you've got tired bodies because whatever you know you say, it's still gone through 90 minutes and there's some fatigue there. Um, so yeah, we had a, we had a session. Some dropped out after a, after a sort of an extended warm up, and then the rest of the core group did some training. And obviously, we'll we'll prep um, Hartlepool this morning. Is Saturday again in some ways? You mentioned the mentality of the players on Tuesday night. Have they now sort of got to prove to you, prove to the fans? Again, I guess that, that they've got the heart for the battle and the heart to, yeah. to really go and take a game to someone that then they're flying at the moment. They are flying, they're good side, you know, and um, they've got a tremendous manager who's, who, you know, who was a habitual winner at Fylde um, before he went to Hartlepool. You know, he had him in, in uh, cup finals of cup competitions, he had him in playoff finals. You know, they were always sniffing around at the top end of the table, they had good players, you know. Um, and he's doing and played a certain brand of football, you know, and, and they're just doing a similar job at Hartlepool. They've got some good players and they're playing well. They, you know, they, they, they can pop it around. They offer good width. Um, you know, they morph into a, a three at the back who are pushing the left back right on. And they're, um, they're um, you know, a decent side. So of that, I've got no qualms at all what we're up against. But at the end of the day, sometimes you've got to start looking at yourselves, you know, and, and you know, we need to go up there, and as you quite rightly say, we've got we're on the TV. You know, we've got a, a, a set of supporters who are watching watching the team. You know, we we've got to respond. We have to respond, and we have to to come out of the traps quickly, get get in people's faces, get in the game. You know, stay in the game and try and cause them problems. And you know, that's what we're working on this morning. I guess we don't really want to hang off the the one victory against Halifax, but I guess you'll want them to show. The attitude and the application that they did show on yeah. that Tuesday night tomorrow evening. Yeah, because uh, since that since that evening, uh, uh, and you know the, the stats were, were, were sky high. You know we haven't been able to replicate that. You know we, we've um, we've gone back to what they were uh, pre that, and and you know you sort of when you saw that performance and, and result, and you know and, and the way that they set about it, got on the result, then you think ah you know uh, uh, are we smelling the coffee and then. You know, ten days later, you're thinking, ah, oh, no, you know, they haven't. So, um, you know, listen, the Woking game 
we were a little bit unfortunate in terms of you know that, that happens in football, but to lose a lad in a warm up who's you know obviously a, a main centre half here and your left back you know is is a bit of a slap, but um, you know it just proves maybe strength in depth wise what we've got. Going into tomorrow, you mentioned that on Tuesday we made quite a few chances yeah, and, and didn't take them. I guess the big message has got to be we have to be clinical when those chances come about tomorrow evening. Well, we've got to be clinical, but <clears throat> at one end, we've got to be a lot more um, resolute um, at the other. I mean, it, in fairness, all right, we, we did create some chances, but so did they. Let's not, you know, they scored obviously five, but I mean, I said to um, to Gary White, well, it could have been it could have been eleven five. You know, what I mean, it was it was that was our, I, I I cannot stick basketball matches in football, you know, it just shows a complete lack of structure, a lack of discipline, a lack of quality distances between your lines and players and, and making it in a compactness of your team, you know, and, and far too often that's happened. But, you know, I mean, I mentioned the third goal, the throw-in. I mean, the first two goals are just bog standard balls inside our, our, our fullback uh, gets in a foot race with a flying machine. Um, and it, you know it's an easy pick out in the end, you know. So that you know that you can dig any goal out and say it's poor by our, you know, from our point of view. But I mean, the, 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 I think it was the fourth goal. They win a free kick in their own half by the centre circle. We're arguing, either arguing with the ref or walking away with our back to the ball, which is criminal. Puts his hand on it, stabs it through, and we're three v three, and we ain't even looking at the ball. You know, I mean, with all due respect, I sort of said that. You know, I know you didn't. About what I what I said, but that's that's something you, you, you as a dad you see maybe you you let them do it on a school game and say to one you you got to face the ball you know I mean it's pathetic so um, listen we, we need to we need to rock up man up and 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 go and put a performance on and try and get a result to, tomorrow night. Just lastly, we've got some big characters in that dressing room that you that you like to your Liam Davies for example. Yeah. How much will you be looking to them to try and help? sort of rally round going into tomorrow because it could be seen as a daunting prospect to go up there after what happened Tuesday night and take on a team that are flying. How important are those characters going to be? Well, listen, you know, you try and, when, when you um, recruit people, you, yeah, obviously football ability, etc. Et but you're looking at character as well. You're looking at, you know, what they bring to the table. They've got backbone, they've got spirit. You know, are, are they going to improve us on and off the field, really? Um, yeah, I listen, I, Part of what I said to him after the game on uh, on Tuesday was, uh, the, you know, I, I called it childish the performance. But with all due respect, they're not they're not child they're not children. You know, there's some experienced guys in there uh, who know their way around the football pitch. You know, and um, not, it's not just Liam. But, you know, they need to they need to liven up. It's as simple as that. I mean, we've put everything in place. They'll say everything that we've got on Hartlepool. You know, presentation this morning. We'll go out there and rehearse all our restarts and all our, um, you know, our, our uh, patterns in possession and our discipline out of possession. We'll do all that, and you've got to take that on the field to play up twenty past five tomorrow, and not forget it. You know, you can't, you can't do this on a Friday and then rock up and go off script all the while. You know, on, on a Saturday, you have to, you have to replicate what you've decided you're going to do. And, and concentrate and see it through. But certainly out of possession, you've got to work hard to get back behind the ball and form a solid formation to then break from when you win it back. But um, listen, this is, this is Noddy and Big Ears football. Um, you know, it's, it's ABC, it's, it's, it's a given. So, I, you know, at this level, you shouldn't be having to go through this, but, but we are. And uh, listen, we'll see. We'll see come tomorrow night, um, you know, how, how we respond. But if, if you're a proper man and a proper football person, you, you know, you want to roll your sleeves up and say, "Okay, listen, we've got to, we've got to bounce back. We've got to show somebody that we've got some spirit and we've got some kahunis, and we're going to go out and represent the club in a proper manner." So, you know, uh, that's what we'll be looking for.